I'm SJ, mum of two beautiful baby boys, and my third baby, Evelina, is a little girl who was conceived using a gender sway technique. People say that once you have one or two of the same gender, you're even more likely to go on to have a third of the same. That is only because we normally live the same lifestyle, eat the same food, and have sex the same way. I've taken a look at all of the research and all the advice for gender swaying, and I will share with you all my research on tips for how to conceive a baby boy. Timing is everything, and the most popular method of timing is the Shettles method. This was named after Dr. Shettles and a book he released in the 1960s showing you how to sway towards a boy or a girl, and he claims an over 70% success rate, so that's great news. So to have a boy, you need to time sex for as close to ovulation as possible, so those male fast-swimming sperm get there as the egg is there before the girls have a chance to be hanging around. He also recommends to abstain from sex until you are ovulating to make sure that there is no lingering around female sperm from earlier sessions. So you need to really know when you're going to ovulate. You can buy ovulation kits, you can check your cervical mucus which will get more creamy and like egg whitey around ovulation. You should definitely make sure that you orgasm. He says that increases the alkaline environment in your cervix which is more favourable to the Y chromosome sperm. Who knew? He also recommends that you orgasm just before or at the same same time as your partner. Good luck with that one girls. <laughs> Shettles recommends that you don't have sex until four to five days before ovulation, then do it as often as possible so that there is a high concentration of sperm count to get those stronger Y chromosomes, whereas for females he recommends the opposite. If you're trying for a baby boy, you're already getting the orgasms, but you also need the deeper penetration because he wants that sperm to be as close as possible so the fast swimmers get to the egg quickly when you're ovulating. So he recommends doggy style, he also recommends missionary with your knees up, basically as deeper penetration as you can get. So can your diet help? So a more alkaline environment is said to be favourable for boy sperm, which means lots of potassium and lots of sodium for conceiving boys. So even researchers at both Oxford and Exeter University found that women eating more calories in their diet overall and more potassium, more bananas, went on to conceive baby boys. I hope you have found those tips useful. As I said, there are no guarantees. So if you think you might regret it, if you didn't give it a little go, then go for for it but no it's just a bit of fun but if you do also experience gender disappointment that's also natural and it's okay to feel that way we've talked about that a lot on channel mum and enjoy yourselves let us know how you get on good luck everyone bye